I'm back. And allow me to explain. Of course, we'll stop the setup sound and whatnot. So this is Shin Gyakuten Toho. Uh, it's basically the Japanese name for Ace Attorney. So this is this is an Ace Attorney game featuring Aya as the main character. And as I said earlier, I've played the first case of this, and I th I played like half of the second case, and I never went back to it. And that was like years ago. Quite a, quite a long time ago. So I don't remember most of any of this at all. But I like Ace Attorney a lot. <clears throat> I probably won't get stuck. I'll be fine. First of all, let's get this running. Make sure... Uh, I would be amazed if it captured without me doing anything. How did it do that? How did it do that? What? What window are you using? <laughs> That's trippy. Okay. Um, this is gonna sound weird, but it, it uses the same window capture that I use for uh, the busy person. All of them. They all use the same one. Weird. How's the how's the volume? By the way, it seems real fucking loud on my end. So I'm gonna turn that down to like platinum levels. That's good news. Yeah, it means I don't have to troubleshoot anything setting up. And... We good or some more? I wonder, does controller work for this? Probably not, no. Let me make a new, uh... Make a new joy to key. Oh, you son of a bitch. Okay, never mind. Never mind. We're okay. Um, I guess what I need to do is just... I'm gonna set my mouse up to stick, really. Yeah. Mouse down. down. I probably should have set this up ahead of time. I apologize for that. But it doesn't matter too much to me. All I really need is to assign that so that'll move as the mouse. Yep. Oh, I'm an idiot, Carl. Oh, I'm, a f I'm an idiot. I'm an idiot. No, none. Cancel. Clear. Thank you. Oh, Carl. You're an idiot. Play record. Left. Assign. Music's gone. Music's back. Music's gone. I wish everything in the world would just have controller support for people who can't use computers like me. That would be such a nice thing. Can I assign left click? I did it. Chad, I did it. I did it. I'm a genius. <laughs> All right. Aya, investigating the trial system for her own benefit, finds out that there are some strings attached. The rise of Gensokyo's first defense attorney. The bright sunlight, the fluttering wind, and the endless blue sky. Just enough clouds for the contrast. Beautiful, breathtaking scenery. If that were all, this world would be paradise. This world, Gensokyo, is an isolated world. Why is it doing that? A world that allows the presence of beings other than humans and animals. 
A world where monsters and yokai live. And a world where nothing serious happens. The story takes place in such a world. Weird. Uh, it's, uh, I don't know, I, I mapped... I can't skip that, by the way. It's going to be that slow. I can't skip, uh... Or no, sorry. I'm not trying to skip the dialogue all the way like that. I'm trying to just let it, like, progress. But it's not. But for some reason, it, it does perfectly fine with the mouse click. which doesn't make any sense. Ah, I knew it'd be here. But in original Phoenix, right, you can't even skip text you haven't seen before. So that wouldn't have been a bit of a problem. So instead, I gotta do that. No way. I shouldn't touch it without asking permission first. Hmm. Ah, I just can't control myself around stuff like this. Just a little bit shouldn't hurt, right? Maybe I should check the settings. Let me see. Uh, yep, that's entirely in Japanese, and I can't read a single word of it. Yep, yep. Uh-huh. So it looks good. Mm-hmm. That's scrap. Yep. Oh, so I can do that. That's pretty neat. That's right. I should test the feature I was planning on adding to the Tengu's camera. And there. Wow. I even amaze myself sometimes. A job well done. Well done? Try mapping something like key sticks. I don't know what that is. I've never mapped my mouse to the... the the controller before ever well one th uh one thing i remember chat i played a i did once before i would we play a, i played spooky's house of jump scare with my friends and we couldn't find the controller support option so we joined a keyed it and it made it really difficult and then when we beat the game with horrible mouse sensitivity for the control stick we found out that all you had to do was scroll like two options down from the option menu and you could, and that was how you turned on controller support. And I know what you're thinking. Wow, Dylan, you're an idiot. But on the other end of the spectrum, why in the hell would you put controller support in the bottom of your options menu instead of having it just turn on when you have a controller plugged in? Am I really in the wrong here? Anyway. Well done. Oh no! I changed the whole thing! I didn't even realize it! And I don't think I have enough time to change it back. Maybe I'll just make it look normal for now. Same day. Look. I forgot about this, but yes, this is a very fair. <laughs> Same day, 3.50 p.m., Kodendo. Oops, it's already time. It should be finished taking pictures about now. I hope it actually worked. The speed of the typewriter is so... <laughs> Same day, 3.56 p.m., Forest Entrance. <laughs> <laughs> Ace Attorneys isn't that slow, though. <laughs> Great! It's still here. It's nice to know how to use something for once. Hmm? Was that someone's voice? Hiya! What? What happened? <coughs> what kicked up all this dirt? A winner is me! Hmm? That voice. I think that might have something to do with this. Oh, jeez. Huh? Someone dare? <coughs> oh, oh, it's just Chirino. Ah, wait. I almost forgot about the camera. The Camera? Was wrong. Um, Chirino. What is that you're standing on? Huh? Oh, this thing? Don't know what it is, but I kicked it good. Ah, 
Oh no, it's in pieces. Duh. I am the strongest, you know. Chad, I think... I think I liked it better in EOSD. And I guess PCB, where she says I. With like E-I-E. -I, -E. I, I think I like that a little bit more. <laughs> I am participating! <laughs> I love that. <laughs> Same day, 5.12 p.m., Eiki's office. And that's about the size of things. Thank you, King Weeb, for the Twitch Prime sub. How you doing, Nick? And that's about the same, the size of things. Ah, so Mr. Morichika, Mor was it? He won't settle the affair with a Don Maku battle. How about a boot to the head? Right. He's not interested in that at all. Even if I were to unable to use it, I would never dream of not being interested in Don Maku. And I did a good job of explaining the situation, don't you think? No matter how you put it, it is quite an amusing story. Booty. Quite. Ah, do you remember what I mentioned earlier, Miss Shiki? About the judgment methods of the humans in the outside world. Now that you mention it, I do. It was written in a book I borrowed from Miss Knowledge. You, you can't borrow books. It seems like she really lives up to her name. Yes. So why did you bring that up? Oh, I see. That's why you came to tell me about that incident. You believe it to be a good example of such a case. And I believe you are correct. However, for this particular judgment method, I am the only one who can act as the judge. Does that mean I assign roles to the other positions? Do you specifically remember what those roles are? Here's the thing about this game, chat, as opposed to a busy person. I don't have to wait for them to read their lines first. So... Things will move a little bit faster. Go ahead. Go ahead, Demo. Well, let me think. Judge and Enma are practically synonymous. However, I don't make the decision on my own. There is a side that establishes proof of guilt, and a side that defends the suspect. And they argue their cases, if I recall correctly. So you're saying that excluding the victim and the accused, a minimum of three people are needed. No, there's more. The accusing side has to thoroughly inspect the crime scene, examine the evidence, and collect witness testimonies. So there's quite a bit of work that needs to be done. Fast line reading will be offset by the slow text call every time. Change location. Well, I can't. I can't speed up the, the typewriter. That's you can't speed that up. That goes at whatever pace it wants. Sounds like a lot of trouble. Well, whatever happens, as long as my involvement is limited to observation, it's fine. That's the extent of my knowledge. That should be enough. Mishiki, you still haven't given your approval for my documentary. The forthright daily life of Gensokyo's presiding judge. Are you sure we can't come to an agreement? Haven't I already told you that I don't see any merit in it whatsoever? Yes, but please reconsider. You have great influence as an Enma. I mean, where is her office located? I guess technically the swamp. But that was one game. And I think that if you at least gave me permission for a test run to see how it would look, you would practically be begging me to write it. I am not inclined to flaunt my authority like that. I doubt it would be worthwhile. There's a patchouli ace turning game made by the same people who did the fancy animations for Toa Soccer. Is it translated? Is it... Is it translated? Because that sounds great. <laughs> I'm not inclined to flaunt my authority like that. I doubt it would be worthwhile. I didn't say it would be like that. Just let me follow you for a while. Anyway, are you off duty now for a few days? Yes, I am. What about it? 
Life isn't so kind as for that to be true. I didn't think so, but I had to ask. Ah. Well, I'd say this is very good timing. We can have a trial in place of a Don Maku battle. Even if I were to accept, who would fill the other roles? You said earlier that the side that establishes guilt needs to do a lot of work, correct? Yes, I did. So I think that asking the residents of the Scarlet Devil Mansion would be a good idea. They have no shortage of maids. Ah, I see. That is certainly true. So later, when we go to the Scarlet Devil Mansion to ask about that, we can ask Mixed Knowledge for more details as well. Indeed. However, Komachi is not here at the moment, so I need to leave her a note. Please go on ahead of me. Okay, I will see you at the mansion. Very well. Whenever something like this comes up, I always seem to get pulled into it one way or another. You know, it is nice to see a fan game use uh, Aki as, like, a main point to it. But I guess, when you're making a Phoenix Wright game for Toho, you need a judge. And there is quite literally no better candidate than Aki herself, because she is, she's, a, she's the Enma. A judge. Who are those people on the wall? Same day, 5.58 p.m., SDM Parlor. If Satori existed by the time this game came out, she would just break it. Like, Phoenix Wright would be impossible with Satori ever popping up because she would just be like, yeah, I can read your mind, I know you did it. And then it's just like, well, cross-examination over. <laughs> So? So what I'm saying is that I was thinking everyone here at the SDM could act as the side that establishes proof of guilt. Cheating attorney Satori, basically, yeah. As far as I know, this, uh, this one was translated quite a while ago, and I think the second one was translated, but I haven't... I didn't really look into that one, because I'm not interested in getting the second one. I'm not done the first one. And I don't think the third one has been translated. So there's three of them. But only two of them have been translated, which kind of blows, but it is what it is. Entirely too troublesome. It's hard to translate visual novels when you're just a solo translator on the internet. Because it's 90% text. The game is pretty much 100% text, honestly, so you got to do the whole game. So people who translate visual novels do not get enough credit. They really don't. They deserve more. I beg your pardon, my lady. The tea is ready. Ah, thank you. Let me hear your opinion on this too, Sakuya. That's a good theme. But this sounds like this sounds like a theme you'd hear in the middle of like like this is this is like the cornered theme or like pursuit theme. This isn't I'm meeting with Romelia for the first time theme. This is Romelia is about to go to jail for murder theme. <laughs> That's what this is. It seems that these two have brought something rather inconvenient with them. I'm responsible for this too. From my point of view. I like how Aki is taller than Romelia though. Ah, quite. If you can endure the tedium, I think it will turn out alright. So what do you think? What do I think? I think it might be too much to endure. I, however, doubt that will be the case, Remy. Oh? Lady Patchouli! Where shall I put these? Place them on the table. Are you constantly training? You should be able to handle that many books. But they're so heavy! Ugh. Why do you need all these books anyway? None of your business. Oh, she's carrying them for you. Sassy pants. Oh. So can you explain why it won't be boring? Of course. They are requesting that we play a role similar to that of the police. A very engaging role, indeed. And by engaging, you mean troublesome. Only for those at the crime scene, actually. You know I don't like it when you dance around the subject, Patch. Please get to the point. It is very likely that if we accept this role, neither you nor I will be overly engaged. The engaged ones will be Sakuya and the maids. 
They will conduct general investigation, going to the scene of the crime, collecting evidence and taking testimonies from witnesses. The vast majority of the work. Since we have great number of maids at our disposal, we are the natural choice. It's true. They make for the best police force. But I don't know if you can really rely on fairies to do that kind of job. To me, it seems like we're the only choice. But are we the proper choice? Is it possible that... It is possible that you are not. Especially if we can get away with lying. What do you think, Sakuya? I have no objections whatsoever. I only serve your will, my lady. Chat. You ever you ever hang out with, with somebody and you're like, man, what should we order? And they're like, I don't care. I'll do I'll do whatever. And it's just like that doesn't help. You are not helping. If you give me full power over the order, what am I gonna do? I hate that shit. I hate that so much. You got three people. What kind of pizza do you want? Uh, I want this one. I want that one. Alright, third person, which one do you want? Ah, uh, it doesn't matter to me. But it should matter to you. You know why? Because if you don't decide, we don't order pizza. Because we are split 50-50 and you need to be the tiebreaker. <laughs> Just pick one! That's why when I did Toho Sorter chat... <laughs> When I did Toho Sorter, I was not allowed to do ties. There were no ties. Get one of each, it's easy, but you- Well, I mean, we started doing that, actually. But holy... God damn it! Sometimes, it's not helpful. Sometimes, just- Just tell people what you want, because you definitely have a favor, but you don't want to- You don't want to impose, just fucking impose so we can order pizza! It should kill some time, at least. To that end, I shall play along with your little plan. Alright, I can write a great article about this. But on the other end of the spectrum, chat. On the other end of the spectrum there. Don't be the guy who demands a certain type of pizza. When you are the minority. Like, let's say you got... Three people again, right? Three people. And you you want to order meat lovers, but they want vegetarian. Well, guess what? You're not ordering an entire vegetarian pizza for them. You can turn a quarter of the actual pizza to vegetarian for them. And you know what? That works perfectly fine. If they can't accept that, then they're selfish. And And just to take it one step further, one step further, Imagine that situation happens, chat, and they demand they demand a vegetarian pizza. And then they say, I don't have any money. They don't even pay for the pizza. They demanded that you buy them an entire vegetarian pizza. And they don't even have the money to pay for it. That's when they don't get pizza. Yeah, that's when they buy their own goddamn pizza. We're not splitting costs so you can get your, your tailor-made pizza because you... You are selectively bred to hate everything fun in the world and you only want what is the most difficult for the people around you to get. Anyway, enough about pizza. Why am I... I've spent like five minutes talking about fucking pizza. Alright, I can write a great article about this. You, Tengu. It's still a little early to celebrate. I will join provided that certain conditions are met. Huh? You thought I had not noticed your anticipation. But you can also compromise. If they want vegetarian because they don't want meat on their pizza, then you can just get half and half, or you could just not get meat lovers, and you can get a pizza without meat on it. Just regular cheese pizza. There are compromises. You can make them. I'm just saying when people push their, their selfish desires and then don't even have the funds to back it up. That's that's what it is. <laughs> Why are we debating pizza? You thought I had not noticed your anticipation. 
What are you talking about? I'm not planning on anything at all. Don't be silly. What are your conditions? The role of defense attorney, I believe. That will be yours, Tengu. What? You're the one who started this, aren't you? That's why you should have some responsibility in the whole affair. But, but, I... Hey, what are you... I can't write an objective article if I'm involved. Well, I'll let the other Tengu write about it. It will all rest on your shoulders. Although I suppose we can afford you an assistant. Uh, what? So that settles it then. It's only natural for the one who proposes an idea to have some responsibility in its execution. Miss Shaimaimaru. You're kidding. By the way, Patch, about those books. Forgive me, but I do not wish to read that enormous tower. Ah, uh, yes, I was about to mention that. Please don't, do not worry, as I will glean the necessary information from these books and summarize everything in a more concise manner. <laughs> Basically, what's about to happen is Patchy is about to give Remy a lesson in Law and Law 101. I believe I should be finished by tomorrow. Pizza without tomato sauce? I've had it with Alfredo sauce before. Uh, it's just kind of plain, so I would re wouldn't recommend it. Hmm. <clears throat> This judgment process means by different from how I always hand down sentences. So yes, please do. I didn't read that right, I don't think. Please leave everything to me. Hmm, maybe some reverse psychology will work. Looks like I have no choice. I will prepare for the trial too. But of course, if you don't do it, we have to go through the trouble of finding someone else. Aw, oh, just when I thought I could finally be able to spend the whole time taking notes in the audience gallery. I don't think so. You're very easy to read. But it's such a simple task. I thought we'd just be able to ignore it. My condolences. Very well then. If you would be so kind, I shall leave the rest to you, Miss Knowledge. It has been quite a uh, while since I've done anything with books other than reading them. So to be honest, I am somewhat looking forward to it. Chat, what's the weirdest pizza you've ever had? Now all that remains is the trial itself. When shall it start? Hmm. It would be best to have it soon to keep the case details and the crime scene fresh. So how about tomorrow afternoon? I must remind you that it is the most difficult time of day for me to leave the mansion. However, it is going to be difficult to plan this entirely around your schedule. Ah, fine then. I suppose it will leave me to my, use my favorite parasol. I shall prepare it at once, my lady. I had poutine pizza. Some of you already know that, though. Banana and with tuna and bacon pizza. Weird as shit. Corn pizza? Oh, as long as it's not tuna sweet corn. Just tuna. Weird. Poutine pizza is was weird. But you know what? The second time I had it, it wasn't as bad as I remember it. It's just... It's just really, really strange. So, let's meet here tomorrow. It was sweet corn? Oh, no. No! <laughs> but have you ever had candy corn pizza? Yes, I will look forward to it. Wait right there, Tengu. Huh? We need you. We need for you to go to the Hakurei Shrine. Really? For what? Since it seems you have yet to realize. Do you think we'd be able to hold a trial with everyone using spell cards? If we are going to be holding a trial in my building, that would be a little... Ah, uh, okay, I see what you mean. I need to ask the red and white shrine maiden to temporarily suspend the use of spell cards, correct? Exactly. But you shouldn't go empty-handed, so take these rice cakes with you. Alright, we're bribing Reimu. Thanks! I'll fly over right away and ask her. Same day. 6.44pm. Hakurei Shrine. Mexican- I've had spicy, uh, spicy Mex Mexican pizza. It's really good. I'm assuming, uh, I probably, I probably a different one than what you're talking about, but I think I know what you're talking about. Uh, we've had barbecue pizza before, but I didn't like it too much because the barbecue sauce was weird, and the chicken was kind of dry. <laughs> Sweeping shrine made urban spotted. Hello, the pure and honest Aya Shaimaimaru at your service. Why don't they just write 45 minutes later instead of same day? Because Phoenix right. Because Phoenix right, Dumbo. I see you're as energetic as ever. Ay 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 ay! What's the matter? Your eyes look like a starving puppy's. You have the starving part, right? 
You should probably eat something. I don't have something. You're kidding. Why would I kid about this? I haven't eaten anything for two days. All I have is green tea. What's with that look of pity? Hey, what's that smell? Huh? It's coming from that bag. The smell of food. Whoa, are you really human? What theme is this, Chad? It sounds very familiar. This is a PC-98 theme, isn't it? Humans can do anything when they put their minds to it. That's taking it too far. Shut up. Just what are you doing here anyway? I recognize the beat, but I can't place the name. And I'm, I'm pretty sure it's PC-98. It's definitely, it's got to be a Raymu theme. And it's definitely not a uh, Maiden's Cappuccino. I know that for sure. Might be Raymu's P.O.D.D. theme. Let me... Hmm. Ah, that's right. Actually, I have a favor to ask you. Agreed. Huh? But in return, you have to give me whatever's in that bag. Fair enough. Deal. Well, I'd like for you to stop the use of spell cards tomorrow. There's going to be something called a trial, then. Ah, that's easy enough. Anything else? Nothing in particular. Now gimme! <laughs> yes, yes, here you are. Hooray! Solid food at last! It looks like there are rice cakes inside. Ah, um, yes, they are. Inside. You were able to smell them from inside the bag, and guess what they were just by touching it. Humans are amazing when they get desperate. Well, that was easy. I mean, she can kick your ass, but you can get anything you want if you bring her food. At that point in time, I, Aya Shamaimaru, thought that the trial would be exceptionally easy. But this notion would be utterly appended the next day. Excerpt from the Boon Boon Maru newspaper. Armpit rice cakes. Hell yeah! Raymu stores them in her armpits for the winter. She's gonna need more for later. April 26, 101 p.m. Defendant's waiting room. Sometimes I regret the words that come out of my mouth, chat. I really do. But I just I say them because they seem like they're the correct thing to say at the time. But then they're ne they never are. They're, they're never the correct option. Why would I say that? Whew! Finally finished reading! So how was it? Didn't you read that little booklet Miss Knowledge prepared too? Yes, I read it. But you know, the words were a little hard to understand. <clears throat> huh? Really? I thought it was surprisingly easy to understand. What parts gave you trouble? The beginning in particular. The beginning? How about the middle? The middle was unintelligible. And the end? Not a clue. <laughs> did you really read it? I already said I did. But I think our inter interpretations might be different. So I want you to tell me what you think about it. Oh, and put it as simply as possible so that even someone who hasn't read the book could understand. Is there a... Is there a hide button? Big hug. Uh, Tengu's notebook. A reporter's very soul. Takes it wherever I go. Little thing that happens again. So it's written down here. Or something like that. Broken camera. The camera Cherno broke. It looks like it's been kicked directly in the lens. Irreparable. The tripod in which the camera was placed. Light and easy to handle. Okay. Momiji Inubashiri. As she is a low rank within the Tengu she, uh, clan, she serves as Aya's assistant. There's a rumor her name can also be read as Kanage. Sakuya Izayoi. Head detective of the SDM force, commands the police maids, and directs the investigating efforts. Romelia Scarlet, temporarily acting as the police chief, but also wants to try prosecuting. Patchouli knowledge. Resident of the SDM, interested in trials, taught everyone about the judicial... 
What is it? Ju judicial? Is that what it is? I need some confirmation on that. It is? Alright. Uh, Eiki Shiki, Yama of Zanadu. Your Honor, say it properly or else you might get upset. Reimu Hakure, ban the use of spell cards for the purpose of holding trials peacefully and some rice cakes. Rinosuke Morichika, owner of Kordindo, sells dubious stuff, doesn't sell stuff people want, an all around troublesome person. Chirino, does whatever happens to strike her fancy at the moment. Nine is as nine does. Hong Mailing, gatekeeper of the SDM, works about as much as she can, says. Works about as much as she says she understands the judi judicial system. Not doing anything special during the trials. So I don't have my own. Okay. I really wanna... I wanna hide. I found the save button up, chat. Window, scroll speed. Yeah, that's all fine. Yeah, that's fine. So, should we start from the beginning? Hmm. Oh, what's this? Looks like there's a piece of paper hidden in the back of the book. This is addressed to me. See? It says, to the White Wolf Tengu. Huh? Let's see what it says. What could it be? To the White Wolf Tengu. I honestly doubt that the Crow Tengu will read this, so explain it to her instead. From Patchouli. <laughs> you know, the art in this game is really nice. There's something about it. It's just... It's just really soothing to look at, you know? I like it a lot. Ah, yeah. What? It's completely obvious. Oh, I scrolled out of the window. What is wrong with her? I am the pure and honest Aya Shimamaru! So I am not of a trustworthy and reliable personality? She's almost got a poggers face chat. It's like half poggers. Oh, somehow even I am embarrassed too. Oh, whatever. Just get to explaining. Yes, yes. Hmm. First, there's a question. Already? Yes, but it's just a simple one. Who is the defendant in this case? Select from the following three choices. Three choices? Uh, at times like this, it looks like you'll have answers to choose from. Cherno, Regal, or Inaba. Uh, it's Cherno. Oh. That's when you should pick an answer. She also wrote that this time there are three, but there might be different numbers later. I get it now. All right, let's pick an answer. Um, huh. The defendant. Don't tell me you've forgotten the name of the defendant. No, no, it's nothing like that. It's just that there's always a one in a million chance. Oh, I, the answer was written in that booklet as plain as day. Just above the conversation window on the right side, you'll see an icon shaped like the notebook you always carry. Oh, ah, there it is. It's called the court record, and you'll find a summary of all the information inside. If you click on that, then it looks like you'll be able to see all the information about the case. Also, if you press the button at the bottom left of the information box, there's the profiles of everyone you've met so far. Book! I see. How convenient. Now, once again, who is the defendant? Cheerno. Correct! I could answer that before breakfast. Of course. I think you'll be just fine, Aya. By the way, what happens if I pick the wrong answer? Some questions won't have incorrect choices. But for questions like that one, you'll be penalized and have to try again. Penalized? Yes, there are some fans at the upper right. Ah, those. Those weren't there before. Each one represents one chance. So after five penalties, seems kind of stingy to me. Did you think they would be lenient about this? What else is written in there? Let's see. 
As for the witnesses, just gather information from them like you always do. Like I always do? Yes, it's written right here. Like I always do. What do I always do? If I may offer my thoughts, might as well. Well, you always listen to what they have to say first. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Then if they say something that isn't true, you retort mercilessly. Uh-huh. And if you have the information or evidence that proves them wrong, you throw it in their face at the same time. And continue until they run away, give in, or start crying. Something like that. That's how I see it. Aya? What's the matter? Nothing. I'm just doing some... Uncharacteristic self-reflection. Huh? Well, um, yeah. Anyway, that sounds like a good way to collect information when the need arises. Yes, that's right. Ah, however, it's probably a good idea to be careful when presenting evidence to disprove the witness. Why? If you do and it doesn't make the witness testimony less reliable, then you'll be given a penalty. Just like when you make a wrong choice. In a normal interview, you can usually apologize, but of course, when you have other people watching... Ah, I see what you mean now. But on the other hand, you can press at any time when you feel the witness has something more to say. You will only be penalized on rare occasions, so it seems like a good idea to press as often as you can. Mm-hmm. Certainly isn't too difficult for my usual methods. Different. Yeah, so that's a thing, chat. Uh... In, in Phoenix Wright 1, there's a five, there's a five penalty limit, and in later games it's like a health bar. So certain, certain things take more from your health bar than others. But there are rare instances in cross-examinations where pressing, pressing a, a statement needlessly will get you penalized. So you need to be careful on that. The game has a lot of variety for how you're supposed to do it for how simple it can seem on paper. Phoenix Wright is a fantastic series, and if you're interested in that kind of genre, like, if you're interested in what you see here, then just know that Phoenix Wright is a series that does it super, super well. I love that series. I kind of, It's one of those games that I wish I could completely forget so I could replay, but unfortunately I like it so much that I don't want to forget it because I like so much that happens in it, and it makes replaying it very difficult. It's one of those situations, you know, when you love something so much you want to play it again, but you'll never really get the same effect as the first time. And the more you like it, the more you'll remember it, which makes it even harder to replay it. Damn, man. I made myself sad. <clears throat> Certainly isn't too different from usual methods. If you think about it, even though you say it's normal, it still seems like Mafia-style interrogation. My reputation isn't that suspicious. I simply pursue the truth, no matter what it takes. I guess there's one way to say it. Anyway, I think we're almost out of time. Any other words of advice? Huh? Uh, let me see. I think we've covered all the basics, at least. By the way, you'll see the press and present buttons at the top of the screen during cross-examinations. Ever played Gradius Attorney? Uh, last I heard about that, didn't it get translated finally? It was never localized. The, t the only Phoenix Wright games I've never played are Ace Attorney Investigations 2 and Gradius Attorney. It's fully fan patched. Damn, they work fast, don't they? There was a second one for that? Oh my god. Yeah, uh, they didn't localize Ace Attorney Investigations 2. And they didn't localize Great Ace Attorney. Hmm. Maybe I'll look into that someday. I'd love to play that, even just on my own. But that requires a a 3DS, uh, a, a, th a totally legitimate 3DS, which I don't have. But okay, great. Mm. Great. I think we're all set now. But where is our defendant? Huh? Now that you mention it, I guess Cherno hasn't shown up yet. Wonderful. The trial is about to start. Where did she get off to? In that case, why don't we take this chance to investigate the evidence? Hmm. Alright. Let's take a look at that camera. It's awfully beat up, isn't it? 
Yeah, and it looks like it was hit right on the lens. How can you tell? I'll draw you a diagram. See? There are cracks running from the center to the outside of the lens, right? It would only make that pattern if it were hit square in the middle. Ah, I see. We should be able to figure out how easy, uh, easy things like this for now. That's true. Still, Cherno was certainly taking her time. Hello, I have a special delivery for you right here. Let me go! What's going on? Ah, there she is. A complimentary service from my lady. Service? My lady told me, I'm certain Cherno has forgotten all about this and is wandering around somewhere. So see to it that she gets here somehow. Chat, do you think Mailing is gumshoe? Or do you think Sakuya is gumshoe? Because I feel like Mailing's personality will be better for gumshoe. But Sakuya's role is kind of similar to the one that Gumshoe would be. I love Gumshoe. <laughs> Gumshoe is such a fantastic character. He's the unsung hero. This game is making me nostalgic for... Mm. This game is making me nostalgic for Ace Attorney. It really is. But she put up such a fight. I wish that she made this a search and destroy mission instead. Search and destroy. But I was finally able to sneak up on her and grab her by the wings. It was surprisingly easy, and I was able to bring her some, bring her here just like that. Chat, you know what I need? The wings are pretty cold, though. Are you sure your hands will be okay? If one clears the mine, they can withstand fire or ice. There's another one of the powers of kung fu. How do you find the time to practice kung fu with your hectic mapping schedule? Now, if you would just sign here. Thanks. Later. Do I look like a package to you? You were told to come here at this time, weren't you? But it sounds boring and dumb. Well, I can't say I disagree with you there. You know what? I need chat. I need... I need Momiji. Right? Hear me out. But I need Momiji as Missile. You know, the police, the police force's dog missile, but it's Momiji. Now that, that would be cute. But Cherno, something bad would happen if you didn't appear for your trial. So what? I'll just take care of it with a spell card. So, why did you have to be here? <laughs> Pay me. <laughs> ah. You can't use spell cards. I asked Raymo yesterday to ban spell cards for a while. What do you do something like that for? How am I supposed to freeze those frogs now? Chat, Cherno talks like Meowth does. What are you doing something like that for? How am I supposed to freeze those frogs now? You still up to your old tricks, huh? Well, anyway, you can't use spell cards right now. Please keep that in mind. What is that? Is that is that spitting your tongue out at someone? <sniffs> eh, good enough. Also, if you didn't show up for your trial, huh? Mishiki would chase after you. <clears throat> what? And she'd probably be going a lot faster than I can go. And then with that stick in her hands. Okay, okay. I guess I guess I'll stay for my trial. Oh, really? This is not going to be easy for me, and it would be much better for everyone if we didn't have this trial. No, it's alright. It's because of me that everyone's in this mess. Cherno is now a Mafia. Cherno is now Mafia. Level she is a level 50 boss. Okay, then. Now let's get this trial underway. Yeah, if you... If you... If you ditch your court date... Aki comes and paddles you with her stick of truth. Not good. You always have such a way with words, Aya. Well, we can't keep the others waiting any longer. Ah, it's almost time. Alright, let's go. Wait. Why is... Hold on. Chat, you saw that, right? 
You, you saw who's in the jury, right? I didn't realize Mountain of Faith... Not Mountain of Faith. I didn't realize that Subterranean Animism was out at this point. Koishi and Satori... Are in the, the jury. I... Um... 2009? Why was everything I play made in 2009? What what happened in 2009? The greatest boom of Toho games happened in 2009. I swear every single fucking one of them I played came out in 2009. Gensoki's very first trial is now in session. Is the defense prepared? 2009 was a good year. Man, 2009? I was like 12 years old. Holy shit, no. I almost was. Yeah, I was like 12 or 13. Wow. What? Have you finished your preparations? Oh, yes. I just... I'm not used to hearing such a grand tone of voice from you. So I was a little surprised. <laughs> Crumbling the dust. <laughs> in the trial handbook I received, I read that the judge should be dignified and speak in a distinguished tone. You know what that reminds me of? Chat, one of, one of the one of the unsung heroes of the Phoenix Wright series, the judge. Love the judge. Every Phoenix Wright character is good, but the judge is one of the most recurring characters in the entire series. And he's never had any art outside of him sitting in his chair. It's crazy. But the hard part is not being so preoccupied with the tone. It impacts your ability to think clearly. Opinion on old bag? Uh, why did she come back multiple times? Oh, oh, edgy poo. I just knew you'd come back for me. You couldn't stay away, could you? I hate her. Also, her name is a pun on windy old bag. You know, an insult to old people. But the hard part is not being so preoccupied with the tone and impacts your ability to think clearly. I raise you Larry. Larry Butts? Larry is a dumbass. <laughs> He's an unfortunate dumbass. <laughs> ah, so that's why. Her voice was so intimidating it was almost scary. That's an enema for you. Just, uh, just a reminder, chat. There was a time in Phoenix Wright... Justice for All, Case 3, where Francesca whips Mo the Clown, and he says, in West Clown Adelphia, born and raised. I just, that's that's a line you can miss, but I just felt like everyone should know that Mo the Clown made a reference to Fresh Prince of Bel-Air. That happened, and it, it, it goes by so fast. Has the defense read their handbooks thoroughly as well? Naturally, this knowledge works so hard to make it after all. <laughs> oh my. At least the only one who doubts me is Momiji. Very well then. Is the prosecution prepared? Yes, your honor. Wait a minute. I thought Miss Knowledge was going to be the... Patchy stayed up all night making that book, and right now she's fast asleep. So for the time being, I will act in her place. Very well. Now that all preparations are in order, let us begin the trial. Good old Winston Payne. Winston Payne and his amazing objection. Does the prosecution have an opening statement? Yes, Your Honor. Then please, present it. Ahem. <clears throat> The defendant is charged with destruction of property. This property was in the possession of Mr. Rinosuke Morichika, owner of Corindo. This is good music to use for the uh, the, br the briefing. This is um this perfect cherry blossom title theme, yeah. Pretty sure it is. I I would never get EOSDs wrong, but I'm, I'm pretty sure this is cherry blossoms. Yesterday, as he headed towards the location to retrieve the camera he had set up earlier, he was fortunate enough to see the moment. The defendant destroyed the camera, 
in flagrant delicto. What the fuck is that? Romelia is basically pain. She's the prosecutor who fills in for the first chapter. That that guitar needs to chill a little bit. It's playing its own thing. It's not accompanying the melody. Hmm. Hmm. Okay, now it's fine. And that is the result of our investigation. Fragrante delicto is Latin. Seems like quite an obvious case. Is there any margin of dispute? The prosecution believes with reasonable certainty that there is none. I believe so too. Then I shall pass my... No, 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 no. Wait just a moment, please. That is, uh... The defense believes that being denied our right to defend is... Unfair. There it is, chat. She struck the pose. Looks good, though. Perhaps what you meant to say was, please hold your judgment until we have the chance to hear the witness testimonies and cross-examine them? <laughs> yes, that, exactly. I see. Miss Shamaimaru, I think you should behave yourself in a more composed manner. Well, I'm not really used to this yet. I doubt that anyone here is, yet. Nonetheless, I approve of the defense's request. Does the prosecution have any witness prepared? She has a cup of tea. Well, I suppose we can listen to what the defendant has to say. Maybe she even has an excuse for her actions. Is that acceptable, defense? Yeah, I guess. <laughs> then please take the witness stand, defendant. Ah, Aya, are you sure this is a good idea? Huh? If the defendant testifies, wouldn't cross-examining her to find inconsistencies in your testimony put us at a disadvantage? Should we really go through with this? Ah, you're right. Um, excuse me, about this testimony. Too late. Please state your name and occupation for the record. Ah, it's already started. Oh. I don't like how everybody's talking all important-like. But this is only proper. After all, the truth is important. Really? Really? So your name and occupation, if you please. Alright, if I gotta. My name's Chidano. My... my occupation. Ako... Acapella. She's unemployed, your honor. And I see. I'm employed. Meaning you fly freely through the skies. Yeah, I do do that. You got that right. I'm unemployed. <laughs> okay. See? She says so herself. Is that really something to be proud of, Chirno? Do you think a fairy could hold a job? And now that I say that, I remember the Scarlet Devil Mansion exists, but aside from that, do you think fairies can hold any job at all? Anyway, Chirino, please give your testimony about what you destroyed when you destroyed the camera. The thing is, they don't really need to work. They just, they just, they can live in, they can live in trees and shit. I wonder why fairies work for the Scarlet Double Mansion. And they get food and lodging. They don't really do much work. I wonder why. Chirno could work as a portable fridge. <laughs> yeah. Kamara. You did break something yesterday, correct? Oh yeah, that shiny thing. I kicked it and it went crunch because I'm the strongest. Yes, give us your testimony about when you kick that. I'm a genius, so this will be a piece of cake. When I broke the camera.
What theme is this? Is this this isn't shoot the bullet, is it? Like I I was just listening to that. This is until nine. This is the Oh, this is this is Toe Nine, the conversation theme. Okay. Which one? Just before I saw it, I was flying around. I was above the forest of magic. Then I saw this flashing light on the ground. I had a really bad feeling about it, so I flew down and kicked it. Bam! Took it out in one shot, because I'm the strongest. Free Shiki conversation, stage 7, 8, and 9. Yeah, I don't remember it. Well, no, no. I kind of remember, but the the beats... Not the beat. The beat's fine. The sound of the instrument. Yeah, it's like... It's like piano. It's piano and, and nine. But that is not piano there. It almost sounds like she's confessing, but could she just as easily have been hallucinating? Well, it's only natural. Oh, pardon me. It's no good if she only testifies about the exact time of the crime. We need to hear about what happened before and after as well. So will the defense cross-examine the witness. I feel more like crying, but yes, we will. Begin cross-examination. That's a beat. Just before I saw it, I was flying around. All right. Now we play the game. I was above the forest of magic. Then I saw this flashing light on the ground. All right, let's press this. A light, but beyond that, you had no idea what it was. Nope, it was so far away that I couldn't even tell. So when you saw that light, what did you do? When I saw that light, I had a really bad feeling about it, so I flew down and kicked it. Hold it, kicked it. Yep. I've been practicing that lately. Kicking. Yeah, kicking. Is this the part where we start kicking? Uh, I see. Bam! Took it out in one shot. Cause I'm the strongest. I don't really know what else to. I don't. I can't present anything. Maybe I just need to press everything. Kick punch chop. You destroyed it with a single blow. It was a direct hit. Pretty sure I killed it, too. Oh, that's why you're on trial right now, you know? Aya, the way I see it, if you try to prove her wrong, it's only gonna make things worse. But that's what we're supposed to be doing. Oh, this is hopeless. But there might be a way out of this. It should be okay. Maybe. Possibly. It's not exactly reassuring. Anyway, just press everything she says and a path might open up. Okay. That seems like a good idea. Here we go. Get my mouse upside down. Please be more specific. Hey, just wait a sec, okay? I'm getting there. You needn't be so hasty. During trials, information can't run away. But it might become stale. What they say might, but not how you use it. You do know how to use it, right? This may be a poor comeback, but your cute face is not cute at all. <laughs> Interesting comeback, Aya. <laughs> Alrighty. Are you absolutely certain about that? Well, I'll just happen near the forest, so where else would I be? Explaining this to Cherno might be painful. It's no good. Her testimony is flawless. That's what I said. I'm flawless. Don't you understand the situation, Chirino? 
I don't think she even understands a tenth of it. Oh, over already. Maybe you were overdoing things a bit earlier. Ugh, I can't agree with- I can't argue with that. Mr. Maimaru. Aya. I think I have an idea. Chat, look at her- look at her bracelet. She's got a pearl bracelet. I wonder why. Aya, I think I have an idea. What is it? About the way you usually gather information, I think there's one more part you're forgetting. Why did you wait until now to say it? Not that I will not that it will do any good. Did they copy that off the phase? Maybe, because they they all have uh they all have those bracelets too, don't they? Uh Miss Shamaimaru. No, I'm sure it will. Somehow you have to reverse the point of view. Reverse? You mean like turn my point of view about the situation? Earth to Miss Shamaimaru! Yes, that's it. Think about it from the other side. Huh? Whenever you come to a dead end, you always try to look at it from another angle, right? Now is the time to do just that. Another angle. Turn about the point of view. So, if a broken camera was the outcome, just what was the cause that made Chuno do it? Miss Shamaimaru! If you have no further objections, I will hand down my verdict. Eh? Yay! Honestly, you haven't said anything for a while now. Huh. Like I said, if you have no further objections, I am prepared to hand down my verdict. You can give up now. You've done well enough, even in this hopeless situation. I am not done yet. I'm just about to make my comeback. Oh-ho! Does that mean you found a hole in the case, Miss Shamaimaru? What? <laughs> so you haven't found one. What? What? Um... I haven't found anything. I have found something. How about I save? Just in case I blow it. I have to have found something. That is... Of course I'm sure I found something. What do you mean by that? Ah, I see. <laughs> yeah, look at the, look at the look at the jury chat. It's just a bunch couple heads. Wait, what? Really? I'm bluffing. There's no way I'd be able to figure out everything all at once. <sighs> I can't think of anything right now. So, Miss Shamaimaru, care to share with the court? Is there a problem with Chirino's testimony? That is a good pose for Romilia right there. That one's good too. That one's even better! If it's nothing more than hot air, you should be prepared to receive a penalty. That's fine. Ah, uh, why did I open my big mouth? If I knew everything, I wouldn't have to interview anyone to begin with. Please tell us which part of Chirino's testimony you are concerned. Point out where Chirino's testimony is unclear. Flying over the forest of magic, the flashing light, the bad feeling, the single kick. It's this part! What's the matter with that part? It's subjective. Nothing factual at all. That is certainly true. However, in her testimo test testimony, it is the only subjective part. That means it shows exactly where this case began. What is that supposed to mean? We know for a fact that Cherno broke the camera. The defense claims that the problem is the cause behind the camera being broken. Order! Order in the court! So you're saying that the one who caused the camera to be broken should be the one on trial. Exactly. As Cherno testified, before she kicked the camera, she noticed something on the ground. Indeed, she mentioned that she noticed a flashing light. And I highly doubt that she would be able to kick the camera from high up in the sky. Which means that Chirno had to land, and the defense claims that we cannot ignore this so-called cause for her to land. Hmm. It looks like she's buying it. <laughs> it was all schlock. So, is that all you have to say? Yes, that's all. How droll. You think there was something that caused Chirno to kick it? 
I would like to cross-examine someone to find out. Your Honor, the defense requests another witness. Hmm. It is true that no one has discussed the cause, so we have no information regarding that at this time. Chad, you know what this reminds me of? Any time you present evidence to the court to turn things in your favor, and the prosecutor's like, No! How could I be so blind? I absolutely messed up! And then, like, three sentences later, they're like, <laughs> Mr. Wright, you done fucked up. Like, why do they do that? Edgeworth does that all the time. <laughs> I hate that shit. They have that one they have that one moment where they're like, no way, and they're like, hmm, Keikaku Doida. Keikaku means plan, by the way. In the interest of this trial, I would like to grant the defense's request. Has the prosecution prepared any other witnesses? Edgeworth also updates the autopsy report. That is so stupid. Uh, the plaintiff and the victim could give his testimony. Will that do? <laughs> Swear the ace attorney trials just in the lab at AUWWE. <laughs> he, um, he would certainly know something. I think we should hear what he has to say. Very well, then. We shouldn't need to be suspended trial. I have already called for him. Is this acceptable, Ms. Shamaimaru? Yes, I think he should testify, too. Bailiff Onozuka, please lead the plaintiff to the stand. There he is. Please state your name and occupation. My name is Renosuke Morichika. I am the owner and operator of the store Cordindo. And you were the owner of the camera that was broken, correct? <clears throat> yes, and right before my eyes, no less. And you still wish to cross-examine his testimony. I do. I'll find something that I can use. We're going for it. The camera was one that I found while scavenging. But it's practically no different from the ones the Kappa make, so I was able to figure out how to use it. I was told that it had all kinds of functions. So I set it up to try them out. I left it by itself after I set it up, so I have no idea what happened while I was gone. Hmm, doesn't seem like there's anything, there, that there was anything unusual in particular. Well, that's why we should let our defense push him around a bit. Isn't there a better way to say that? Now, your cross-examination, please. Yes, your honor. Alright, let's begin. I gotta admit, that... That, that that sound effect right there is a little crusty. The camera was one that I found while scavenging. Oh, right. Forgot. But it's practically no different from the ones the Kappa makes, so I was able to figure out how to use it. I was told that it had all kinds of functions. Let's, let's hear about those functions, Minosuke. Let's hear about them. Manta! All kinds of functions. Yes, it doesn't have just a regular timer, but an interval timer, which takes pictures at a set period of time between each one. Well, that needed a separate part attached to it. You're kidding. That was something like that. Maybe you can ask for it. Okay, that's a good idea. So that was one of the functions you were testing. Yes, I wanted to see how the camera worked. So I set it up to try it out. How did you set it up? I attached it to a tripod. When I went to go see it, it seemed to be fine to me. I didn't think that there was anything wrong myself until I took a closer look. How did the photos come out? Well, since the camera broke... Oh, that's right. Unfortunately, I don't know how well the camera worked. Of course. Somehow I get the feeling that might have been a lead. I left it by itself after I set it up, so I have no idea what happened while I was gone. For those wondering, you can't really do murder cases for this kind of thing. 
So that's why we're talking about a broken camera instead of someone dying because it's Gensokyo. You don't, you don't die. You respawn in your house and you go foo. Woo. So you didn't go back to check on it even once. No, I was cleaning my store the whole time. The things I scavenge are usually covered in mud, so cleaning everything takes a lot of time. And during that time, you didn't meet anyone else. No, I only have customers every now and then. Oh, now I remember. Rainbow came by to have her shrine clothes mended. So if you ask her, maybe she'll have something to say. You don't say. In this case, I don't think she'd have any reason to lie either. This case seems like a dead end. Then we're both at dead ends too. That one bit of testimony. Let's try pressing it one more time. We might be able to get something out of him. Good idea. If we listen one more time, we might be able to figure it out. Let's give it a shot. Camera's one that I found while scavenging. But it's probably no different from the ones we used. It's all kinds of functions, so I think I need to press this again. So I set up to try them out. Inform me! Inform me! How did you set it up? Chest to a tripod. When I went to go see it, it seemed fine to me. As long as I took a closer look, how did the photos come out? This is the camera broke. Oh, that's right. Fortunately, I don't know how well the camera worked. Of course. Maybe I should ask another question. Uh, what happened to the film? That's probably the best answer here. What happened to the film in the camera? The film, you say? Well, I had to take enough pictures to fill a roll of 24, so I suppose it rewound itself. I see. So it rewound. That's right. Wait, is that- do cameras do that, chat? I thought- I thought the way cameras worked is that you- if you used your entire film reel, you can't take any more pictures. Does it just- does it just overwrite the first picture? How does that work? I've never really used a camera before, ever. It doesn't overwrite? It just- it just doesn't work anymore? Okay. That's right. Was the testimony just now important, Defense? The testimony. It is important. The testimony is very important! Oh? You sound rather desperate. Almost as if you were bluffing. That's all defense attorneys do, it seems. I'm afraid not. First, about the film. You know that it is very sensitive to light, correct? No, I had no idea. Explain. Well, to put it simply, if regular light touches it, it becomes unusable, so it can only be opened in a dark room, a place where there is very little light. I actually know what a dark room is, though, chat. It's where you develop film. In the case the film is stored and has special properties, and it's also very difficult to open. So you're saying that even though the camera was broken, the film should be unscathed. Exactly. Mr. Morichika. You are certain that you just that just before you finally saw your camera again, Cherno had broken it. Yes, that's right. Nevertheless, since you testified that the film rewound itself, it should still be wrapped up safe and sound. Am I wrong? No, that should be about right. The case flew out of the camera when it was destroyed, but I picked it up. And of course, I turned it into Miss Scarlet. I knew you were going to say that. Your Honor, this entirely changes the state of affairs. What are you saying? We will not know what really happened until we inspect it. Not the condition of the film, but what's recorded on it. After the impact of the attack, it doesn't appear that anything has further damaged. And just now, Mr. Morichika said that he recovered the film that flew out of the camera. So, if the film was developed, it might reveal some important information. I see. And with that being said, a question strikes me. Why has the prosecution not submitted the developed film into evidence? Perhaps they see the pictures as inconvenient, which is why they are hiding them! If they are, this is a grave matter. The book also mentioned how the prosecution should not tamper with the evidence in any way. I hope the prosecution has a good reason for this. My goodness! I think everyone needs to relax for a moment. 
Miss Defense Attorney, I myself have yet to see the pictures. They have not come out yet. I want... I want to hide the text box, damn it! What if I press the H key? H key doesn't hide it. Z key? X key. Space key. Space key advances. Shift. Enter. Fuck! What do you mean? You haven't figured it out yet? Is there- I need a... Ugh. I need... I need a hide. I need a hide button, Morty! <sighs> I don't want to f fiddle around with my, uh, my things, though. You haven't figured it out yet? Pictures need to be de developed first. At this current point in time, they are not ready. <laughs> so what happened to the film, then? As I said, it's being developed. It should be ready before too much longer, I imagine. To whom did you give the film? I didn't think I could give it to the Tengu this time, so I asked the Kappa to handle it. However, I thought it would be delivered by the time the witness cross-examination was finished. I see. So let's continue with the subject at hand. Has this matter been put to rest, Defense? For the time being, as long as we are waiting on the film to be developed, we can't do much else. So please, continue. Are there any other questions from the defense? Let's see here. Uh, what about the other features? What about the timer setting? Come to think of it, how did you set the timer? I don't think it was anything particularly strange. I just had the shutter click every five minutes. I decided on that setting because it would take two hours to fill up a roll of film, and I could clean up my shop at the meantime. I see. Thank you very much. Did the camera have any other features? I didn't know very much about it, so there were still other functions I didn't understand. But I do know that I d it didn't have built-in flash, yet it had something called a speed light, and it could focus on more than one object. Maybe I shouldn't have asked that. I'm starting to turn green with envy. Is that all you remember? That's it, as far as the major functions go, at least. I was told that it was a model meant to make photography easy. I see. Certainly sounds like it. Well, I think the pictures should be here any moment now. What's a speed light, chat? I need, I need somebody who knows what cameras are to explain to me what a speed light is. And what is significant about being able to take pictures of more than one object at a time? How does that... Is that... Speed lights for react, react fast objects. I guess that's pretty self-explanatory. Is it capable of focusing more than one object at a time? I think those things that takes photos when you're speeding. I guess that makes sense. I imagine speed lights are an expensive feature then, huh? Oh! Lord have mercy. Excuse me, Miss Cheeky. I have a delivery here. She's a big girl. Hmm? Can't this wait until later, Komachi? We're in the middle of a trial. Ah, sorry about that. But they told me that it was needed here. What? Oh, could that be? Speed like a, like a strobe light inserted into the camera separately. Precisely. The photos. Indeed, they are. I will accept these into evidence. A moment, please, your honor. Who does the voice for those uh, lines for Romilia? Because it sounds like a voice I've heard for her before, but maybe that's just because it sounds, it just sounds like Romilia. I don't know how to explain it. It's, it's, we have literally, we have literally two, uh, two voice lines that she says, but when I hear them, I'm like, yeah, that's, that, that is exactly what Romilia would sound like. It's really good. It's really, really good for two lines. A moment, please, your honor. I would like to determine which of these 24 photos has any bearing on the case. It's just surprising they managed to nail that as well as they did, considering she has two lines. <laughs> it would indeed take time if everyone went over every, every picture. 
So I will call a 10 minute recess to sort them out. I would like the current witness to remain on the premises so we may ask him about the pictures if the trial resumes. I really wish that Aya's voice was the one from a uh, busy person. Can imagine her saying objection and hold it. <laughs> of course, that Aya and this Aya are two totally different Ayas. Ay, ay, ay. Understood, Your Honor. And with that, this court is in recess. Nice. This is getting kind of boring. I'd much rather be bored right now, actually. Really? Why you want to be bored? That's no fun at all. I'm not bored, but I'm still not having any fun at all. You're kind of weird. So can I go now? No, I don't think you should. Really? Yes. I'm tired of this already. Well, I'll just deal with it for now. But why did you have that bad feeling anyway, Chirno? Bad feeling? Yes. Hmm? You know, you said it earlier when you were talking about breaking the camera. Huh? Oh, yeah, that. Why didn't you say so? I didn't think I had to spell it out for you. I really... I had a really bad feeling when I saw it. That's why I attacked it without thinking. Could you be more specific? Not really. I just was all like, Whoa now! Maybe I should put it another way. Did the camera do anything? Uh, you mean that black thing? Right? It pointed at me all of a sudden. The camera turned towards you by itself? Sure did. Ah, oh, yeah. That's odd. Doesn't matter how many features the camera has, the tripod isn't supposed to move. And it's strange how Mr. Morichika never brought it up when he was talking about its features. But Cherno says she saw it move. That's definitely what happened. It pointed straight at me, so I put my foot in its eye. Ah, that's right. The cracks on the lens do show that it was hit from the front. But what does that have to do with anything? Hmm, it might not, but we can't be sure about that yet. Yeah, feet! Ah, the recess period is almost over. Alright, let's see how this will turn out. Tripod description updated. The tripod on which the camera was placed, light and easy to handle. Cherno said that it had moved on its own. I need to close it. Trial is now back in session. What did you discover from the photographs? Seems that it wasn't able to fully rewind in time, so the first several pictures are completely black, Your Honor. We don't need to see any of them, save for the ones that were taken just before the attack, so that should have no bearing on the trial at all. Hmm. Conversely, I believe that having pictures at the time of the incident would be beneficial as well. The pictures around this time are just fine. Thanks to these pictures, we should be able to put an end to this trial. I will accept the film into evidence. Photo number one added to the court record. Cherno can be seen off in the distance in this photo. The Forest of Magic is to the left, and number 22 is placed in the lower right corner along with the date and time. 425, 1.51pm. Cool. So about that picture, this picture, you agree that there's absolutely nothing out of place in it? Yes, I do. It looks like a rather tranquil scene. And there's more. The couple who developed the film for us. It seems she saw the camera before the incident as well. <laughs> now that's a face. What? So does that mean there's another witness? Yes. And now she is now and she is now going to give her testimony. You're kidding. My, that's quite a boon. Call her to the witness stand, please. Oh, hello there. N Notori? Oh, if it isn't Momiji. What's up? That's my question. As I said, she developed the film, and she will be giving us her testimony. <laughs> I see now. First, can you give us your name and occupation? Whew. Sure. My name is Notori Kawashiro. I'm an inventor. About what will she test... What will she testity? Testity, exactly. Do you mean testify? Testity. Miss Kawashiro saw what the camera was placed 
where the camera was placed while the walking while walking about yesterday. She will give us our testimony on what she saw. Very well, please begin. All right. I just happened to be passing by the forest at the time. When I saw the camera sitting there, I kind of got distracted and stared at it for a while. Then Cherno came flying along, and the camera took a picture. When she noticed it, she suddenly got a really angry look on her face, and she swooped down and kicked it. And unfortunately for the defense, here is decisive proof. Kaboom. What do you think of this picture-perfect evidence? Ah, I believe this clears up all the remaining doubt. Exactly. I don't think we need to waste any more time. I do think so. I demand my fair share of it. <laughs> oh my, you seem rather upset. But for now, I'll submit it in evidence. Photo number two is added to the court record. A picture taken a moment before Chirino kicked the camera. The number 24 is displayed in the lower right corner along with the date and time, 425, 1.56 p.m. Okay. Oh, things are really going downhill. Cross-examination. Just happened to be passing by the Forest of Magic at the time. When I saw the camera sitting there, I kind of got distracted and stared at it for a while. Manta! Could you please tell us exactly what happened during that time? The camera was connected to the tripod, and I didn't see anyone else around. So there was no one else in the area, and you were the only one who saw the camera. Yep, I figured someone would come eventually. Hmm, maybe I should present some evidence here. Can I continue? Hold on. When I saw the camera sitting there, I kind of got distracted and stared at it for a while. Hmm. I don't know, that doesn't seem to- I don't, I don't feel like there's enough there to really present any evidence on, though. Then Cherno came flying along. And the camera took a picture. So you mean the shutter clicked? Yep. Took about two or three pictures while I was watching it. So which picture would the first picture with Cherno be? I think it's the second, but right after that, when she noticed it, she suddenly got a real angry look on her face. An angry look. Yep, that's right. She zipped down and seemed to be upset with the camera for some reason. Ah, uh, so what happened next? It looked like she was posing. Posing? Yeah, posing. Why on earth would she do that? I don't really know why she posed, but... Then she swooped down and kicked it. Are you absolutely sure about that? Yep, sure as the sun shines. I was watching the whole time. And she hit it pretty hard. I thought it was funny. <laughs> no, 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 no. This definitely makes Cherno look like she's purely at fault. But I still don't know why she kicked it all of a sudden like that. You don't know? Were you watching her when she did? Yeah, I was, but... Your Honor, need we drag this out any longer? Hmm, Miss Shamaimaru, your thoughts? But please, just a little more time, Your Honor. Hmm... I think it's pointless, but I'll go along with this for now. Aya, aren't you overlooking something? Am I? Yes, you are. You need to keep pressing the witness. You might be tired, but hold on for a little longer. Okay, I'll keep at it. Alright, well I guess we're... We're pressing the witness, chat. We're pressing the witness. Do you know how long you were there before the incident occurred? Happened? Not really. Do you even know about the incident? 
I saw it when it happened, you know. You were a witness? Yeah, I was. But things were starting to get out of hand, so I left before I got wrapped up in it. Not exactly admirable. But I didn't think it would become this big of a deal. <laughs> Alright, I think this is the situation, this one right here. Maybe I need to double press again? Could you please tell us exactly what happened during that time? The camera was sent to the tripod, I didn't see anyone else around. So there's only, no, I don't know if you were the only one who saw the camera. Yep, figured someone would come eventually. Okay, it's gotta be this. It's gotta be this. Uh, let me review the evidence, I suppose. Impulsive saving. Let's see. So that's basically the attorney's badge. So we're never gonna have to present that. Broken camera. Tripod. You notice that it moved on its own. I think I think this is the correct answer. This part of the witness testimony is clearly questionable. Guess not. It seems perfectly fine to me. You leave me no choice but penalize you. Oh, maybe I'm on the wrong trail. Shit! When I saw the camera sitting there, I kind of got distracted and stared at it for a while. I thought that would be the right one. Guess I'm wrong. Let's see the evidence we have. Broken camera. Tripod. Photograph one. Uh, Trying to be seen off the distance. Photo number 22, 151. Number 24, 156. We're missing a. We're missing a shot here. We're missing a shot. Cherno came flying along. The camera took a picture. Yeah, when she noticed it, she suddenly got real angry. Look on her face. Then she swooped down and kicked it. Oh, uh, yeah. You are. You need to keep pressing the witness. Might be tired a little longer. I think I need to get... I need to get something more out of her for a new statement. But I, f I thought I pressed everything. Maybe I didn't press the first sentence. Hmm. Do you know how long you were there before the incident happened? Not really. Do you even know about the incident? I saw it when it happened, you know. Hmm. You were a witness? Yeah, I was. Oh, no, we did, we did, we pressed that. We pressed that one. When in doubt, press everything, I suppose. Not exactly admirable. When I saw the camera sitting there, I kind of abstracted. We pressed this multiple times. Yeah, I figured it would come eventually. Hmm. Present evidence there. Then Cherno came flying along. Direction did she come from? No idea. I guess she was flying over the forest. Did you notice anything else? Well, Cherno was flying. And the camera took a picture. So you mean the shutter clicked? Yep. Took about two or three photos while I was watching it. So what picture would this first picture with Cherno be? I think it's the second, but right after that, when she noticed that she suddenly got real angry. An angry look. Yep, that's right. She zipped down and seemed to be upset with the camera for some reason. Ah, so that's what happened next. Looks like she was posing. Okay, okay. Yeah. Just swooped down and kicked it. Pretty sure that's everything. You don't know. I'm watching her when she did. Yeah, I was, but alright, and then interruptions, no way, losing my first case would not bode well for my career as a defense attorney. Is there nothing else I can do? It doesn't matter if you lose all your motivation. Oh, nice, thanks. That's enough out of you. Anyway, the defense does not agree. Alright, I just had to press everything. If you're going to say that, you surely have proof to back it up. Huh? Not huh, proof. To put it another way, evidence. Whatever reason she had for kicking it, you need to show me irrefutable evidence to prove it. 
Precisely. If you're going to say something, all you need is a single piece of evidence to support it. And if we approve your line of reasoning, then the trial may continue. And if you don't approve, what then? Then that will only support a guilty verdict. Although I suppose that means in both cases, the trial will continue. <laughs> Stop joking around. The trial will end here if I don't do something. What should we do? Do we have that kind of evidence? Wait a second. If I go back a bit, whatever reason she had for kicking it. That's what Miss Scarlet just said, right? That's right. I don't think we have anything that can do that. However, we still have something that won't they won't be able to argue against. Really? That's right. Time to present it and see what happens. We actually have two pieces of evidence, but let's start with this one for now. With one for now. I'll break them down without so much as a syllable. There's little room for error in war. Out of presenting evidence. Oh. Right now. All we have to do is keep moving forward. Your Honor, the defense wishes to present some evidence. I see. But understand, we will thoroughly scrutinize it. It is very windy out, chat. I can hear it whistling. Defy them with your irrefutable evidence. It's probably the tripod. Yeah. Why exactly did you choose this? Do you know, Miss Scarlet? I think we need to know what's going on in Miss Shimamaru's head first. At least we can't fault her for trying. I will, however, fault her for being mistaken. How cruel. Alright, so that was the second evidence I was supposed to I was supposed to present, because that's irrefutable evidence. It's one of the photos then. It's probably this photo. Could I? Yeah, it was. The tripod comes later then. The tripod comes later. This is that picture that was presented earlier. What exactly are you getting at? Desperation is so unbecoming. Sometimes, yeah, sometimes you jump the gun on these kind of things. Like, you think you figure it out, but you're presenting things at the wrong time. Because it makes sense to you in the moment, but it doesn't make sense in context of the game, the situation. And you're just like, what? I'm an idiot, Carl. Play a record. Yeah, that was my phone going off for uh, no reason. I love it! No, I am not desperate at all. Even though you said one earlier, I'm just starting with this. Hmm? So you have further evidence to submit. Yes, it's simply not enough by itself. It needs another part to make my point. In that case, I will allow you to submit one more piece of evidence. Thank you very much, Your Honor. Alright. So this picture as well. Why do they form a set? Show us. Look at the little number in the corner, you dingleberry. <laughs> These two pictures may appear to be in consecutive order, but it looks like one leads into the... So it looks like one leads into the next. <laughs> However, that creates a huge contradiction. Ooh, that's... Chat, that's the best word in the entire series. Mm, contradiction. Between them. Oh, then can you point out this contradiction for us? Of course, Your Honor. What am I looking at? What? Oh, I'm doing that. Uh, right here. The contradiction is here, in the numbers. Really? What do these numbers signify? Please read the numbers, Your Honor. Hmm, the first picture has a 22, and the second has a 24. Oh, that's Aki's theme. Now that's a good theme. That's right. Please remember that the camera filled up a roll of 24 pictures. Fate of 60 years. It's a damn good theme. This number makes it easy to understand in what order the pictures were taken, along with the time where and when they were taken. I see. Hmm, in that case, why is there no photo with a 23? Exactly my point, Your Honor. Since both the first and second pictures show the very same person, it would appear that they were taken in the same time frame. That's why nothing seems out of place at first glance. But if you take a closer look, you'll see that there is one more picture that should go in between them. 
but Miss Shimaimaru, is it possible that there is no such picture? Absolutely not. Due to the se 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 sequential nature of the film being in a roll. If we were to see the negatives, it would be obvious. There must be another picture in between these, without a doubt. Oh, I see. The defense is skill in explaining com complicated matters. Hmm. So does this mean that you are also saying that there is something the prosecution has not submitted? Yes, I am. Why exactly have they not submitted this photograph? You're awfully sharp, Crow Tengu. I mean, it, it's not that hard to see the numbers la labeled 22 and 24 and be like, hmm, but it is also the first case. Miss Scarlet, if there is a picture that completes the sequence, please submit it at once. Yes, there is a picture. I thought I could delay it in revealing it a little longer, although I would rather not at all. Here it is, Your Honor. By the way, I swear that this is the very last picture. Picture 19 through 21 also developed, but they contain nothing relevant. Blah, 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 blah. Impersonations in the middle of a trial? What is the meaning of this? Oh, I guess not. What does that picture show? Rin? Rin? Like in ring or something? Bailiff Onozuka, bring Rinosuke Morichika here. Now! What? What does that picture show? She seems absolutely furious. Yes, what is the matter, Your Honor? Why are you the plaintiff when you are the one committing despicable deeds? <laughs> what? I have no idea why you are so angry, Your Honor. Look at this! God damn it. What is this picture? Well, good job, Renosuke. We don't know. It was taken by your camera. Photo number three added to the court record. A rather interesting picture of Chirino. How much else needs to be said? The number 23 is displayed in the lower right corner along with the date and time at 425 at 1.53 p.m. Oops. <laughs> the nerve! You aren't the victim in this case! In fact, I don't think it'd be too much to say it's poor Chirino instead! P please wait just a moment! I don't remember taking this picture at all! So what is this? I really can't say. Please wait, Your Honor. What is it, defense? Please don't be so angry, Your Honor. Think about it. There was only one other person nearby when the camera took picture 22 through 24. And that would be... Miss Kawashiro. She said that she saw Chirno in picture 22 and watched the scene until she saw her kick it in picture 24. I see. In that case, it makes sense that she would have been watching when picture 23 was taken. Yes. That's why I would like to ask the witness to testify once more. Very well. This is acceptable, Miss Scarlet. It's tedious, but I see no other reason why not. So, Miss Kawashiro, please testify one more time. Please be more specific about your thoughts at that time. Can do! Things turn out kind of weird. Somehow. If this keeps up, I'll end up prosecuting as well as defending. Alright chat, I'll be right back. Just gotta... Just gotta commit vine piss. Be right back.
Nice. Didn't unmute. Nice. 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 Fantastic. I love it. I was just walking around when I spotted the camera. Hmm. <clears throat> I took a closer look and noticed that it was the camera Mr. Morichika asked me about. It looks like the shutter was set to go off automatically. I was really interested in it, so I watched for a bit. That's when I saw Cherno come and the shutter went off again. After that, Cherno came closer to the camera and kicked it. That's all I saw. Mmm, yes, I see. If I remember correctly, Miss Morichika arrived right when the camera was broken. Mr. Morichika. Yeah, I saw him too. Looked like he was choking on all the dirt Cherno was kicking up. That's odd. There were some things that Mr. Morichika mentioned in his testimony that Miss Kawashiro did not. And she also didn't mention anything that Cherno claimed she saw. Very strange indeed. They both saw the same event, but didn't see the same things. Ms. Shamamaru, your cross-examination, please. Yes, Your Honor. I need to find the suspicious parts of Mr. Mi of Miss Kawashiro's testimony. I was just walking around when I spotted the camera. I'm just gonna jump the gun and press everything. Mata. So you were simply taking a walk. That's right. Thought it would jog my inspiration too. How privileged you must be in that world where you can walk outside. A nerve. So what did you come up with? You know, things like, ah, this would be a good feature to add to that camera. I'm looking forward to it. I took a closer look and noticed that it was the camera Mr. Morchika asked me about. When you saw it, did you touch it as well? Nope. So you're saying you only looked at it? I guess so. So how did you know it was the plaintiff's camera? He asked me about it the other day, and I got a real good look at it. So there were distinguishing features. The cameras the most, that most of the Tengu have were made by the Kappa. So if it wasn't a camera you made, then how would you know who it belonged to? Um, it had a unique bottom. That's how I recognized it. Unique? Yep, the screw that connected the camera to the tripod was different from the kind we Kappa use. Ah, I see. It seems like something you would certainly remember. What was so special about the camera? To put it simply, if it was- if- what- bleh. If it wasn't connected to the tripod, it couldn't take pictures. Oh, I see. So that's how it works. However, it seems like a rather trivial detail. Is it important to this case? It is. It has to be. You wouldn't give me the option. It is very important, Your Honor. Hmm. Then witness, please append it, append it to your testimony. Roger. I have never once been allowed to present objective evidence. Objecting evidence. It's all pressing. Pressing, 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 pressing. I never touched the camera. I'm gonna beat your ass for lying. But I gotta press it first to be sure. Her. You're absolutely sure about that? Yeah, I am. If I had touched it, then the pictures would have been slightly off. That's true. Which is why there does seem to be something off about 23 and 24. The backgrounds look different. You're right. You can see the mountains in the first one, but the other two only show the sky. I better take another look at the evidence again. I gotcha. I got you now. I never touched the camera. Ooh, you about to, you about to feel this one. Here we go. Wait, she's supposed to say objection, not take that. What? I feel cheated. Miss Kawashiro, you said earlier that you never touched the camera, right? It, yeah. Somehow that strikes me as strange. On what are you basing that? Oh, on this. Sick. Now that, that's a good camera. Ah. 
Ms. Kawashiro said earlier that the reason she was able to recognize the camera was because the screw that connected the camera to the tripod was different. Gah! Even after adding to her testimony, she did not correct that part. Which means that Miss Kawashiro touched the camera! Oh. Ah! Oh, busted. Did she really need to touch it? She could have known what kind of screw it was just from looking at the outer part. Now we got an Aya theme. That is not possible. She said earlier that she was able to identify the camera by looking at the screw. Oh, yeah, this is this is the theme I played at the start of the stream. Yokai Mountain, Mysterious Mountain. Without touching the camera to remove the screw, she would not have been able to do that. Moreover, as she clearly stated in her testimony, there was no other way for her to tell the camera apart from the others without checking it. Ah! Ugh. This is Kawashiro. This is where your testimony starts falling apart, and that leaves other suspicious details. First, you say you were watching until the moment Chirino attacked the camera. But in both the plaintiff's and the defense tes defendant's testimonies, they never mentioned your presence. Oh. Miss Kawashiro, this must mean that you were hiding in the nearby thicket, correct? What? Then there's the fact that you testified that you didn't see anything else that was unusual. However, all the pictures that were submitted as evidence have Chirno in them. This is proof that the camera had another feature that follows moving objects. You were the one who explained how to use the camera to Mr. Morichika, correct? However, you didn't explain this feature to him, so of course it came as quite a surprise when I saw the pictures. Which means that you seem to believe that it was best if he didn't know about this feature. But in spite of that, the camera automatically moved to follow Chirno. That means that since the camera moved on its own to follow her, if you were watching, there was no way you would forget seeing that. So what was the witness's objective? Even if she did touch it, and even if she didn't explain everything, she didn't commit any crimes in doing so. Don't you get it? She testified that she didn't touch the camera, when in actuality, she did. And she didn't think the camera moving by itself is strange. That means that she knew about the feature from the start. Ah! The witness knew that the camera moved, but she hit herself to see how well it could track objects. However, it unexpectedly worked too well, starting this whole affair. So, Ms. Shimaimaru, does this mean you wish to indict Mr. Tori Kawashiro based on this? I've come this far, so I can't back off now. Exactly. Oh, whoops. I, my, my foot hit the mouse. Don't even ask how that's possible. You do not understand the way I'm holding this mouse right now. Order! Order in the court! Bail of Onozuka! I could not read that. Stop! 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 S Stop! Thank you. It stopped. <laughs> Alright. Um... Can I just pull up the text log real quick? Probably not, nope. Fuck. <laughs> I don't know how it did that! It went on auto mode! <laughs> I didn't know how to stop it. Son of a bitch! What are you talking about? Unfortunately for you, this is all speculation. Uh, although I'd better... I believe a better word for it would be delusion. What did you just say? Just look at the witness's face! That does not hold up in court. The witness's face is just that. Nothing more, nothing less. Yeah. Pretty much. Mm. What I'm trying to say is that you need evidence. Your hypothesis is that the witness touched the camera and then observed how it worked. So, I'm sure you have suitable evidence to support it. Indeed. All we can say for now is that there was a possibility, nothing more. No way. Yeah, that's right. I only looked at the camera. Also, didn't that human earlier say something about only setting the timer on whatever? He didn't even know how to set the motor or the tripod to follow things to set up or set up the infrared shutter. Huh?
Um, well, what's the matter? Miss Kawashiro? I, uh, your voice is shaking. Um, ahem. <clears throat> Where was I? Miss Kawashiro, what did you say just now? What? You just said something about a motor in the tripod and setting it to follow things. But this is just a normal tripod, isn't it? Huh? Oh ho ho! Now I see. I understand the answer behind the final mystery of these photos. Final mystery? That's right. There is one decidedly unusual part in these photos. Then please tell us where that part is located. Don't make me look at the photos again, please. Ugh. Where? Where's the bad part? The time. Hmm? Is this a date and time? Exactly. The important part is right here. The minutes where the pictures were taken. I see. Mr. Morichika set the timer for five minutes. Counting backwards from the 22nd picture, we can see that the camera started taking pictures at 1.01 p.m. Yes, he did say five minutes in his testimony. Then look at the final picture. The final 24th picture. This is the unexpected part. Another five minute space of time. 3.56 on the dot. And five minutes from... What? How odd that picture 22 and 24 are five minutes apart. Shouldn't it be pictures 22 and 23 instead? And now this... This is Wind God Girl. This is Aya's original theme. Where'd my mouse go? Okay. The five minute gap between 22 and 24 is strange. So does that mean that we have no reason to believe the original setting was still in effect around then? Exactly. It's printed directly into the picture, so it's easy to assume it's reliable. But the time doesn't fit with Mr. Morichika's setting at all. I just looked at the other pictures from around 2.30pm. There was nothing for approximately 30 minutes. Even in pictures where there is nothing but scenery, the time gap is uneven. Perhaps it was reacting to moving objects, such as birds. So, Miss Kawashiro, that means you came at around 2.30. And that you made adjustments to the tripod and camera, adding things like infrared equipment and moving movement tracking devices. You did a lot more than simply touch it, didn't you? Ah! Brrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrrr
verdict. Same day, 6.23 p.m., defendant's waiting room. Whew, it's finally over. That was so lame. Must be nice to be so carefree. So are we done here? Yeah, good old AA courtrooms in Japan, America. My favorite location on planet Earth. So are we done here? Well, more or less. See you later, then. So really, is she really is a simple one. Eat your hamburgers, Apollo. <laughs> thank you, you helped me out too. Ah, you don't need to thank me, Mr. Morchika. That's just how things happened. I mean, Cherno still broke the camera, but I guess the fact that Notori fiddled with the property uh, of the camera, which led to c certain events, may it means Notori is directly responsible? I don't fucking know. Well, whatever the case, you still helped. I need to return to my store now, so I will bid you farewell. Goodbye! Oh, did Cherno leave already? Yeah, it's just now, in fact. Well, that's fine, but these trials seem rather trying. You two were the ones who first suggested the idea, weren't you? Oh, Miss Scarlet. Yes, I guess you're right. Hmm. So, you have no room to complain. I was able to temporarily stave off boredom, at least, so I think I wouldn't mind doing it again. Farewell. Where are you going? Back to the mansion. Because of the trial, I've had to put off tea time for far too long. Hmm. <clears throat> Patchy should be awake by now, too, so I want to simply take it easy for the remainder of the day. Were you drinking tea all throughout the trial? Yes, I was unable to relax while doing so. Then, until next time. Seems that Miss Scarlet enjoyed it. I think so too, but it seems to me that Miss Knowledge would be better suited for that role. However, I think the most difficult role was yours, Miss Shamaimaru. It wasn't that bad. I had Momiji there to help me, and she was able to... Hey, wait a second. What's the matter? Momiji isn't here anymore. Uh, Miss... Miss Inubashiri offered to help in seeing Miss Kawashiro's sentence was carried out. Huh? Do you want to see for yourself? She must sit say so style for two hours. Alright, well there's her- okay. That's not right, Natori. You're falling out of position. Oh, I mean, Mo Momiji, isn't this good enough? No, it's not. You caused a lot of trouble for everyone. Especially Aya. I'm sorry. Hey, no slouching. If you don't do it right, you'll keep doing it until you do. What? I said I was sorry! Enough already! No, because you've upset me too. <laughs> that that's that's the punishment. They were not convicted to a life sentence. She just had to sit Seiza style. Two hours. I don't know what that means. It's probably a pain in the leg. And that's how the first trial ended. This reporter was a spe had a special seat to gather information on the trial. I shall write about the success of trials in later issues. But for now, I must lay down my pen. Excerpt from the Boom Boom Maru newspaper. Well, means you're scary when she's mad. Well, that's the perfect opportunity for a thumbnail, but it's the last picture of the entire fucking turnabout. <laughs> God damn it. New episode has been unlocked. I did it. We did it, chat. So next, uh, chapter two. Marissa's aesthetic. An explosion at Aente. A brazen theft. A missing pot. Is Marissa the culprit? Aya's second case will certainly not be easy nor normal. So that's for uh, next time. Figured I'd just give a teaser for it. Why not? Yeah, pretty good. That took two hours. I think, uh, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna break it up in this way. So, the way Ace Attorney works is the first case is a court day, and after that, the game is separated into two portions. There's the investigation port, or investigation part, and there is the court part. And the way I've always played these games is I tend to do investigation court day, and then I, I stop, I take a break. The thing about uh, Phoenix Wright, though, is in the first Phoenix Wright, they did it like this. They did investigation court, investigation court, investigation court. But they realized that people didn't want to do back and forth three times. So in every game after the first one, 
every case past uh, the first case is broken up as investigation court, investigation court. However, there's more substantial stuff to it to make up for that fact. It's better done in my opinion. But I don't know how it's going to work in this game, specifically, because this game is... Well, I mean, this game probably came out a little bit after other Ace Attorneys came out, but... I'm only curious about how they're going to break it up, because the penalty system, as I said, is completely different in every game past the first one. Where it's five penalties in the first one, and after that it's a life bar. But in this game, it's five penalties as well. So I'm really not sure. I guess we'll decide by length, because this was two hours long. It was pretty good length for the trial. I imagine I'll probably be able to do two hours again of investigation court, as I said. And we take a break, and then we do the other half next time, that kind of thing. The first one, you also can't take damage outside of court. That's true. Your health bar also refills each successful uh, investigation slash uh, court, but only refills by half, so you need to be careful with that kind of thing. <clears throat> Alright. Well, that's it for the stream. Good though, good art. It's uh, it's definitely it definitely shows that despite its, despite the obvious, you know, with the all the stuff that fan games usually go through, it has it has a lot of charm, and that sounds really lame. I hate when people say things are just charming and without explaining themselves. But I think the art's good, the story's fine. Uh, considering how difficult it is to set up a, an actual trial in Gensokyo for anything, they did a pretty good job with what they have so far. I haven't played the whole game. As I've only ever done that case. And it follows Phoenix Wright pretty well. Seems to get the, gets the core idea of the gameplay down pretty well. Okay. But that's it for the stream. So, hope you guys enjoyed. I'm not sure what I'm going to do this next, but I'll put it up, and then we'll get to it eventually, as we always do.